all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information uh, in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news enter you will be the first to collect them you don't share plenty information day for my table right now i am right at the ex handle of the prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile mas simon ewa anwan abwebwe onata anwa chara i see the sub i'm reading right from his twitter handle verified twitter handle uh, formerly known uh, ex handle formerly known as twitter and whenever you see any twitter handle that is ticked with w good just know that that's the right handle and that's where i am bringing you the information uh, for you to know that my information is coming from the right source you know i'm not here to do hanky panky with you i'm here to bring you right information breaking the biafra dragon fighter marine has neutralized the terrorist cameroonian forces occupying bakasi peninsula part of biafra which the illegally padded which which nigeria illegally ceded to cameroon as a compensation for their part in genocide against Biafra. The presence of Biafra fighters in Bakasi is expected to increase in the coming weeks as we are taking them on all front for Biafra liberation. Biafrans will be using highly ballistic Biafra Wonder Propel Obunigwe, which is now being used in Bakasi for the first time. No civilian was killed or wounded the targeted terrorist army was neutralized, six of them. <laughs> uh, my people, you don't share uh, You know, say they say a uh, person where in Papa be lie on that person, you know, they chop grass. Uh, but there is something I want to say that um, there is this, you know, fighting spirit or, you know, spirit of strength uh, with, with the Igbos or with any tribe that is associated with, with the Biafrans. Uh, because do you know that in 1967 to 1970 when the the british government and other governments of the world denied the biafrans of access to weapons access to arsenal access to all kinds of uh, 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 arsenal to fight do you know that that was when you know many uh, biafran engineers Igbo engineers you know learned people came together uh, those who studied in chemical uh, did, uh, did, did industrial chemi uh, chemistry those who studies uh, metaphysics those who studied uh, uh, engineering those who studies the different kind of thing uh, uh, physics and the rest of them they came together and came about uh, with what is known today as the Ogunigwe. yes they came together with what is known today as Ogunigwe. And um, this thing was single-handedly built by the Biafran engineers. Then, and um, there was that was when even the invention of refining oil uh, in a local week, local local way came about. You know, some of you will be wondering uh, where does uh, Nigerians learn to refine oil, refine gas by themselves? You know, as it stands now, uh, there are uh, local refineries where people refine the brick oil pipeline and make money from it. That was that was the invention when uh, it was Nigeria. Uh, uh, it was Biafran engineers that invented this refining of oil. They started refining oil by themselves to put in their car to be driving around and the rest of them. And when they lacked armored cars and armored vehicles, they started building it by themselves. If you have been to Ojuku Bunker before, you will see some of these things. Or if you are addicted to history like I am, uh, you will be able to understand that everything I am trying to pass to you, these informations are reality. That was when all these, the Biafrans were able to build the Obunigwe by themselves. They were able to build the, their cars. They were able to refine their oils by themselves. Uh, at the time, uh, when they then head of state uh, of, of, of Nigeria, uh, General Gowon, uh, before he declared uh, no victor, no vanquish. And of course, uh, many people said, according to information, that had it been that um, 
uh, the then head of state uh, did not declare that no turnover and push that uh, their France would have gotten uh, the, the, the victory for that fight because there was a time they started breaking through. Now, let, let's look at what people's comments under this. Another person said, Idris uh, Oluwala Adema said, fighting in two war front kudos, you go soon forget sense, I just do. Uh, this person is just talking what I don't even know. Akubo one said, land of Biafra can never be given to Cameroonians by, Ni by Nigeria, we must retrieve our territory. Another person said, Namde Okamba said, I thank God for I was suspended for three weeks, but I thank God. Chiko Ikabiyama now, I am back online. Uh, Biafra first. Another person says, Short man, how many names do you call yourself? <laughs> so when I don't see I see they happen for this uh, matter where we say if they go for the Obodo. Uh, say, you know, it's over. in order to be able to still catch up with proper investigations and other things um, that need to be done uh, according to uh, according to the law uh, because according to the law uh, no no person is supposed to be under the police custody beyond 24 hours uh, beyond 48 hours except except for uh, 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 other purposes or maybe as granted by the law or by the court so these people are still reminded in order for the government to be able to find out the actual thing that sent this guy to judgment and another information of course you know that um chicago university have declared the certificate of oga tinubu's fake or false and um on that note uh, many people are saying that the president should resign he should resign uh, but to you or to me, what do you think? Drop it on the comment section if you think that Ogati Nubus is going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that that is going to be possible, you know, uh, because, you know, I see the before the Obodo, because now the man who got the money back and uh, now the person where the court they obey. But meanwhile, uh, nobody has the final say except the court. And um, everybody has been talking, saying all eyes on the, on the judiciary and many eyes are on the judiciary to see... Uh, to see what is going to happen and what is going to become the outcome of the court on this matter. Meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, 
kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you'll be the first will collect them thank you for listening god bless you